Hey kindergarten friends, thanks for joining me for today's story time. So we're continuing on with our learning about dinosaurs. This is week two of our dinosaur theme. And I want to read a story to you. This one is not a storybook. This one is a non-fiction book. So that means it is about real life things, okay? So the pictures kind of look like it's fiction because they look cartoony, but the information in this book is actually non-fiction. I'm gonna step aside so you can see my background here. This is kind of a, a, a dinosaur scene. So you can see some dinosaurs there. You can see some pterodactyls, some brachiosauruses. And while, so while I'm reading this story, you might hear some dinosaur sounds. That's because there's music on this and it kind of makes them, you can hear like dinosaurs walking and making sounds and that kind of thing, okay? Let's read, let's talk about dinosaurs. So this is a table of contents. So when we read a nonfiction book, friends, it has a list of what information we can find on which page. So if I want to know what are dinosaurs, I'd look on page six and seven. If I want to know about head-butting dinosaurs, I'd look on page 14 and 15. So the table of contents shows us where to find information in a nonfiction book. What are dinosaurs? Some dinosaurs were the biggest animals ever to walk the earth. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, long before there were people. Earth looked very different then, just one big piece of land surrounded by sea. The name dinosaur means terrible reptile. Have you ever seen a dinosaur bone in a museum? Have you? We're lucky because we have a di dinosaur museum right close to Grand Prairie in Wembley, just about 10 minutes away, we can go and see an awesome dinosaur museum close to our city. Big and little dinosaurs. Brachiosaurus was as tall as three giraffes on top of one another. Wow, giraffes we thought were tall. So a Brachiosaurus is three giraffes tall. How many elephants would it take to play seesaw with this Brachiosaurus? Look at all those elephants there. And the Brachiosaurus is still heavier. A raptor was about the size of a child like you. Eoraptor was about the si same size as a child like you. Stegosaurus was as big as a truck, but its brain was the size of a ping pong ball. So that's a little tiny brain for a big, big dinosaur. On the land, gig gigantic dinosaurs roamed the land looking for food. Big plant eaters swallowed stones to help them grind down the tons of plants they eat. A Diplodocus tail was as long as its neck. Can you imagine the size of their poop? Look at the size of that. A big one. Hunting dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex, was a giant biting machine. T-Rex hunted other dinosaurs for dinner. Fierce raptors hunted in packs. A raptor's claw was bigger than your hand. So hold out your hand. Just their claw was bigger than that, wow. Those are some big claws. Head-butting dinosaurs. These dinosaurs are called Pachycephalosaurus. Their name means thick-headed reptiles. Some had bumps or spikes to chase away meat-eating dinosaurs. Dinosaurs with horns. Carat Caratopsians had huge huge heads, bony neck frills, and horns. Triceratops was as big as an elephant. It had three horns on the front of his head. Stegracosaurus had horns all around its neck frill. Sometimes I take a little longer to read these dinosaur names because they're big and long and I'm not used to reading them so I have to just sound them out. Dinosaurs with armor. Plant-eating dinosaurs had tough bodies so meat eaters would have a hard time eating them. Ankylosaurus was covered. Ankyl, Ankylosaurus was covered with hard, flat spines, and its tail was shaped like a club. You see that? Could you imagine getting hit with that tail? Stegosaurus had a bony back plate and a spiky tail. Watch out, T-Rex! One bang from that tail, and you could get hurt. Fancy crest. Hadrosaurus had a hollow head crest that could probably make a loud booming sound. We think Hadrosaurus lived together in herds and would make a loud boom to warn everyone if a meat-eating dinosaur was close by. 
hadrosaur parents made nests for their babies. Feathered dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs had feathers and ran on their back legs like birds. Archaeo Archaeoteryx was a bird that lived in a dinosaur times. It had feathers, but its teeth and tail were like dinosaurs. Velociraptor was a fearsome bird-like dinosaur. It had a long curved toe claw. Think about Velociraptor when you see birds running across the grass. Under the sea, when dinosaurs ruled the land, huge reptiles lived in the sea. Plesiosaurus had very long necks and caught fish to eat. Ichthyosaurus looked a lot like dolphins. Lyopleurodon's jaws were longer than a canoe. Doesn't giant dino dinosaurus look a lot like a crocodile? Interesting how animals change, but they look kind of similar to dinosaurs. In the air, in the time of dinosaurs, the skies were filled with flying reptiles called pterosaurs. Some were as big as a small airplane. Some were small as a sparrow. A pterosaur what? wings were made of thin skin, but they had no feathers. They had beaks with teeth to catch many different kinds of food. What sort of sounds do you think they made? Can you make a sound like these dinosaur birds might have made? Can you hear some dinosaur sounds in my video? There was one. <laughs> Nesting on cliffs. Pterosaurs probably nested on cliffs like seabirds do today. They could launch themselves into the air from the edge of a cliff and soar out over the sea. Their eggs and babies would be safe while they hunted for food. Would you like to be able to soar like a pterosaur? That'd be fun to fly in the sky like that. Baby dinosaurs. Some dinosaur eggs were as big as soccer balls. Some were as small as a chicken's egg. Some mother dinosaurs covered their eggs with soft soil and left them to hatch on their own. So friends, one of our tasks this week is making a dinosaur egg, okay? A paper mache dinosaur egg. Triceratops may have formed a circle around their babies for protection. Some dinosaurs, like Myasaura, may have cared for their babies in nests. More giants. Here are some really big dinosaurs with really big names. It's gonna be hard for me to say these names, but I'm sure gonna try. Mamankiosaurus was a huge plant eater. Carcharodontosaurus was a giant meat eater. Iguanodon was a giant plant eating dinosaur with a huge spike on its thumb. Where do all the dinosaurs go? The dinosaurs disappeared about 65 million years ago. Some scientists think a gigantic meteorite crashed into Earth. Clouds of dust would have blocked out the sun. With no sun, plants would die and the big plant eaters would have nothing to eat. When the plant eaters died, the meat eaters would have nothing to eat either. All the dinosaurs would have died out. How do we know about dinosaurs? Scientists learn about dinosaurs when they discover fossils. Fossils are bones and other parts that have turned to stone over thousands of years. When scientists find a fossil, they try to put the bones together to see what it would look like. Do you remember what those scientists are called, friends? Those are our paleontologists, right? Dinosaur eggs, footprints, and even poop can turn into stone over many thousands of years. And that's our book all about dinosaurs. So friends, I hope you have fun with our week two of Dinosaur Week. Thank you for joining me for story time. Have a good day. Bye.